When the winter came, the father took his son deep into the woods to teach him how to be a man. The moonlight streaked the trees with silver light. His father led his way on his black mare, and the son rode behind. The heat of the beast pressed warm into his thighs as the cold night bit his face. They rode far from home, the tracks falling away under the hooves of the horses. His father spoke. You must become like me, my son. You must learn to read the wind and feel the forest at your fingertips. You must learn to wait. One day you'll be called upon to act. When that day comes, you must be ready. The horses breathed hard, steam hissing from their nostrils. Far away, the son heard a wolf cry. His skin prickled and he was afraid. His father saw his shudder. A true man has no fear. When the wolves come, you must face them with courage. If they see a tear upon your cheek, they will devour you. You must become hard and cold, and they will turn from you and run in terror. The son bit his lip and clutched the leather reins. Behind them, another wolf howled. The son watched his horse roll the whites of its eyes at the moon. Where are we going, father? His father replied, To be a man is to become a king. I will take you to the kindling throne in the heart of the forest, where a man may be alone with his power. Between the trees, the sun caught sight of a flash of grey. Another breath joined the panting of the horses. Overhead, clouds gathered fat and heavy over the trees. Father, he whispered, the wolves are here. His father rode hard ahead. It is not the time, son. Another wolf joined the chorus. The horses tossed their heads. The man and the boy rode on. A clap of thunder burst through the forest. The sun tasted iron in the air. When he looked back, two wolves were tight behind him, snarling. His horse shrieked and bucked, tossing him to the roots of a tree. When he stood up, the wolves leapt towards his horse, and he ran. Help, he cried. Father, it is time. I need you. His father called without looking back. No, my son, I must wait. The kindling throne is near. He galloped through the trees, his son stumbling behind him, ears full of the horse's screams and the high call of the wolves. The son staggered into the clearing, breathless and bleeding. Electricity crackled in the air. His father stood before a vast throne of wood, old and splintered and sagging. The son reached out for his father's hand. His father jerked his fist away, walking towards the throne. A terrible light burned in his eyes. The son begged him, Please, father, the wolves are here. My horse is gone. Please take me home. His father shook his head. This is where a man comes to be alone, he said. The sun turned to the trees where yellow eyes burned. He could smell the sharp tang of blood. I don't want to be alone. His father laughed. He turned and sat on the throne. The wood, dry as tinder, cracked and strained against his weight. The father leaned back and closed his eyes. The clouds overhead boiled. The wolves began to sing. The sun cried a warning. The father opened an eye, just a crack, and said, Wait! Wait. And the lightning struck. The kindling throne caught fire and held it like love. The old timber burned bright and sudden. The father did not make a sound. The sun knelt before the blaze and sobbed. When the throne was ash and the stars bright with ice, he stood and turned. Before him stood the pack of wolves. The son tried to face them with courage to make himself cold and hard. He thought of his father and despite himself, tears fell from his eyes. The wolves watched the tears strike the earth and licked their muzzles. He turned out his hands and waited to be devoured. One wolf stepped forward and pressed its nose into the wet drops in the dirt. It lifted its head and began to howl. One by one, the wolves joined in, a chorus of mourning. The sun threw his head back and howled too, over and over, howled out his grief and his love and his fear. When he looked down again, the wolves were gone. He gathered a handful of ash from the kindling throne and took the reins of his father's horse. When he stepped from the clearing into the forest, his own horse waited for him with wary eyes. He took both reins in hand and walked the horses slow and soft through the trees as the night ached on. When he took the final step from the woods and towards his home, there, 
waiting to greet him was the first light of the sun. With the trees at his back, he stood and breathed in the sweet warmth of morning. <laughs>